part two of ocean inspections today we got two for it so far so good uh except for that dumbbell on the floor and we're gonna come over to the bench um just some minor stuff nothing crazy not really a violation Ooh, but we do have a drunk demo man that's osha violation number one no drinking on the job notice the proper signage um as well as the security cameras that way no one gets lost um as well as another proper signage Ooh, and here's where we get to our second violation we do have a dead sniper violation number three is going to be no handrails slash guardrails we do have this trash out in the open that's a health hazard that's number four and bam dead scout that's number five most likely backstab from a spy we're going to enter the second floor open room nothing of a uh, note here and then we enter the armory where we have our friendly red spy um nothing really out of the ordinary here all within code And we make our way over to this locked door. It doesn't really do an exit. It looks like a closet. That's okay. Um, and then we get to no handrails. That's going to be OSHA violation number six. Um, another locked door, but I mean, also another storage room. We do have cobwebs. Not quite a violation, but they should clean up a bit more. Um, lighting seems good. Rafters good. But one minor issue. Um, no circulation. We do have some pretty good signage here. Um, as well as handrails on the way down on the ramp, that's always a good thing. Uh, that's within code. Their walls could use some renovation. See, these guys must have watched my office video because um, there's some, you know, clearly marked fire extinguishers. As we get into Red's Intel room, um, there is a dead engineer that's going to be violation number eight, as well as an unattended sentry that's going to be violation number nine. We do have a haunted briefcase. Um, that's just, you know, normal in the uh, Merc community. Um, we can see that their equipment's pretty well maintained, uh, which is good to prevent shocks. Um, you know, high voltage could lead to death. I beams all look intact. Uh, they do have a punch out clock and a water cooler. They're really taking care of these guys. Uh, no violations here. Scary room does make some noises, um, but I mean, if you don't have a scary room in your house that makes noises, what are you doing? Uh, we go ahead and enter uh, another armory, and uh, nothing of much here. That mop is dry, so that's not a violation. The only issue I do have is going to be this piping. Uh, this piping is a bit weird, but still into code, so not a big deal. Uh, handrails, we like to see it. Uh, we enter the courtyard. As we enter the courtyard, uh, we do notice this barrel storage. Uh, at first, I was really going to write them up for this because there's no way to access it. Um, but there is an entrance, it's just locked, but that's fine, it seems like it's just regular barrels. Um, the only real violation I could spot here is gonna be the generator next to wood. What if it heats up, catches this whole place on fire? Now we're gonna make our way um, over to this front entrance, nothing of note. Uh, we do come outside, they do have proper hose storage, which is nice. Uh, more trash, so I'm gonna have to ding them on that. Um, I believe there is a sign that says no dumping. But here's where the other OSHA violation is gonna come in. Uh, this is a condemned building, and having your employees work in a condemned building, that's a OSHA violation. Uh, more proper signage. There is a TV on the ground. Um, they do have their delivery hours set up, that's always good. Uh, only thing I'm going to ding here is no handrails in the water. What if a toddler walks onto the battlefield and drowns? So that's going to be another OSHA violation. Um, bridge is built up to code. That's always good. I am going to have to ding them as well on this running train um, stopped with plywood. Um, the train could break loose any minute and kill people. We make our way to the front entrance. Uh, we do have some proper signage, no dumping allowed. Um, blue side's not too bad. I'm gonna blame it on red. I could see red coming over because they had the most trash last time. Um, blue seems like they keep themselves pretty uh, well kept. Ooh, but they do have evil barrels, evil poison barrels. That's gonna be a OSHA violation and I count four of them. So it's gonna be four violations. We love to see the handrails. 
Um, we are going to be making our way over to the little storage station over here. Everything's in order. Lock behind cages if it's dangerous. So that's always going to be good. No violations here. Proper signage. A little bit of junk under the stairs. That's okay. More proper signage. Um, yeah, no, they're blue's killing it today. I definitely think red is the root cause of the issue. Um, nothing of note really in blue spawn. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way. They do have proper drainage. Uh, red, they gotta get on that. We're gonna go ahead and go down to Blue's Intel room. It is in need of a uh, update, renovation. It does seem to be a bit old. That wallpaper's kind of tacky. We make our way into the Intel room of Blue. Very similar to Red's. Um, but Blue actually has it down, uh, as well as the proper signage in front of the desk. Um, no turrets in the... Oh! Uh, Medic seems to be a bit sleepy, so he's trying to grab some coffee. Um, so I'm just going to ding him a point on that. No sleeping on the job. And just like Red, everything's pretty much solid down here. Uh, working electronics, properly marked fire extinguishers, good ventilation. Um, Red really needs to work on that. But we already dinged them earlier. Um, as you can see, fire extinguisher was marked. Punch out clock, just like red. So I have a feeling blue is going to have no problem with this inspection. Uh, minus the stuff we've already dinged them for. If you're watching this far into the video, let me know who your favorite team is. But don't tell anybody else about this, so just, just comment it. And then when people ask why you're commenting, just but just comment red or blue. Um, don't do a full, like, my favorite team is red. Just comment that. And then if someone asks in the chat, like, hey, why are you, like, saying red? Just do not reply or reply with bozo. Just just say that. Uh, more non-handrails. We already did ding them for that. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to ding blue. Nothing of note really in the spawn. Proper windows and ventilation. Uh, only issue I have is this hole. You could easily slip down like I just did. So that's going to be a ding. And we do have a fire extinguisher labeled here, but it is closed. So I'm just going to make sure that uh, there is a fire extinguisher behind. And there is. So they're still good here. This flooding's normal. This is the drainage part um, of both forts. Um, as we make our way down, we do run into some pyros that seem to have uh, had a last minute duel. Um, you know, if you've played Team Fortress, my fellow TF2 uh, troglodytes, I have way too many hours on it. You know that pyro on pyro is the lamest gameplay because it's just left clicking each other until somebody like slightly gets more damage or a crit. Uh, more proper signage. I don't know how I feel about the lighting. I feel like you could use a bit of a renovation, um, but not really a violation. Uh, we are going to make our way out to the center drainage pool. Um, everything on the bridge looks up to code. Rivets are good. Bolts are good. But the water is a bit deep, so not a bad idea to have a life jacket around. Still not a violation since this is in a swimming center. We're going to go ahead and make our way back up to Red's base. Um, everything over here still looks pretty good. Um, I wouldn't really dock anything here. I'm be going back up through. Oh, oh no, no, that's okay. That's up to code. I, I had a a split second where I thought it wasn't. Um, but I have noticed from going to Blue's base is Red is lacking on a lot of signage. But granted, Red is in a condemned building, so they don't really have to put up signage. They're technically not supposed to be there in the first place. So I have a sneaking suspicion here that um, I might have missed one or two things. So I'm just going to do a double inspection on Red's base after going to Blue's. And uh, one of the first things I noticed is no drainage for the spigot. So that is going to be an OSHA violation. We did already ding them for the no rails. Um, 
they still haven't cleaned up the bodies but i mean we're still here so i don't want to move too much but uh i'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here guys um uh, with the red spy surely nothing Okay, it's Hunter around. <laughs>